So I'm watching Angus's latest video on his top three 2019 design software packages when this happens. It's just, for an open source program, that's and it's free, it's, it's unmatched, basically. So go check out Blender if you're interested in designing any sort of characters or anything organic. It's not great for precise measured designs like cases for boxes and things. Mein Führer, Steiner, Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Der Angriff Steiner war befehl! So when referring to Blender, Angus says, and I quote, it's not great for precise measured designs like cases for boxes and things. You can do it, but really, Fusion's much better for that. Now I know Blender is accurate for creating 3D printable models. In fact, I made a video about that right here. I'll put a link below. Now I could just ignore Angus's comments, even though I think I know better. But, I'm thinking it sounds like a challenge to me, so here's what I'm going to do. I went online and found a dimension drawing. I'm going to record myself modeling that part in Blender. We'll see how long that takes and then print the finished part. Okay, let's go. All right, the first thing I do when I look at, at a, draw, a drawing like this or Okay, so I got up this morning and checked the, the print that I had running overnight. Uh, yesterday I spent the afternoon modeling the part and getting it ready to print. So I modeled that in Blender and then I left the print going last night. So it finished about 1am this morning and checked the part this morning. When I first saw the part, I thought, yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. It looks awesome. Like I was really, really pleased with the finish except for the there's a that hole in the back there where where it um goes uh, parallel to the the floor i put infill in there i'm i'm, I'm switching from cura 16.04 to cura 3.6 i decided to put infill into that hole because i just wanted to test to see what the infill's like in in 3.6 and uh but anyway getting back to the the, the part i i took the part off the the bed and brought it over and did some measurements and and some measurements were were spot on some measurements were a little bit out but the measurement that most concerned me was the the length of the model uh, according to blender it's 140 millimeters um, and when i measure it's about 141 142 millimeters in length so it's it's grown two millimeters in length uh, i went back and had a look in blender just to double check the measurements and it's 140 millimeters it's odd because when i check that measurement in cura 3.6 uh, cura says it's 140 millimeters as well so i'm not sure if it's grown when cura sliced it or when the when it was being printed but it seems to have grown by one and a half to two millimeters i wasn't happy with the way the infill uh, filled in the, uh, well, the, the the finish it left on the surface in that hole. So what I did was I then cut that little part off the back and I just wanted to try printing it again without any infill because that's how I would probably normally do a, a piece like that. I've got my printer pretty well tuned in um, and with the new fan uh, duct I've, I've designed, it does a really nice job of overhangs. So. I, uh, I did that this morning, I, I, I cut that piece off and just made its own separate little part. 
re-slice that and put it back um, to the printer for printing. And the, as you can see here, the the holes um, come up a lot better. It's in, it's I, I I can't see in that situation any advantage to using infill in that hole, even at the top of the the top of the hole where there's no support. The finish is identical to the the infilled hole, and the base of the part there was some um, support from the platform to the base of the part, and I can't see any difference. In fact, I probably prefer prefer the finish of the part that has um, no support. After looking all that, at all that and checking the measurements and being a bit unsure about what I was seeing, I thought, well, maybe um, Angus is right. Maybe um, CAD packages are superior for doing those sorts of models, those, those more hard surface edge models which have to be dimensionally accurate. So based on that, I then went looking for uh, free CAD packages. I went online to see what, what was available. And I found one called Free CAD, which is, which is free for commercial use and looks pretty well featured for what I'd need to do. Uh, I've never used a CAD package before, so um, I did open it up and, and have a little look and, and, and see if I could wing it, but uh, no hope. But it's, I was just completely lost. Um, so I did find a good series of tutorials on YouTube by... Um, a young guy whose name I forget at the moment but what I'll do is I'll post a link to those those videos below I'm going to um, download and install FreeCAD which I already have and I'm going to uh, learn how to use FreeCAD this afternoon I'm going to model the same part in FreeCAD and then I'm going to print that part tonight and measure it and see how it how, and also the finishes, how they, they come up compared to, to Blender. I'm curious to see the difference between polygon modeling and parametric modeling or the NURBS modeling as a CAD package is used. Um, I know, well, I'm expecting the, the CAD package curves to be smoother because in, in Blender um, or any polygon um, modeling package, a curve is always a series of straight lines, um, whereas a NURBS curve is just a, an infinite curve. So um, I'm expecting that should provide a smoother surface and a smoother curve. Um, but I'm really curious to see uh, to see what the difference is. So so what I'll do is I'll make another video tomorrow. Um, this will be part one, and I'll make a second video tomorrow, summing up everything and and giving my final decision on, on whether a, a CAD package is superior to Blender for creating these sorts of models, or whether it's a little bit better, better or whether it's that close, it doesn't matter. But um, I'll know tomorrow. So uh, if you're curious to find out yourself, um, check in, tune in tomorrow, uh, or the next day, which is by the time we get the video uploaded, and look for part two of this video. Okay, thanks for watching for now and I'll see you again soon.